Oh, we're live. We're live right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Keith. And there's Keith back there. I kind of hit the button before I before I was ready, and uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set us up on the tripod right now, everybody. Um, we may have some trouble hearing, but uh, you know, we're gonna try and speak loud and get as much as this all going as we can. All right, I'm gonna set this in there. You all see Keith? Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Put this up. right in there oh there he is okay let's see I know I'm gonna send this around okay oh. okay here we made it we did we're on oh my gosh we are out on the water today welcome everybody thank you for joining us um, let us know how the sound is going there's probably gonna be a lot of wind noise it is really windy today and it's blowing right at us um, we got away from the office a little bit later. Really late? Yeah, than we had planned. So we haven't even set up yet. I think we're set up afterwards. Yes, yeah, so once we get done with this, we'll uh, we'll get our spread out and everything else all ready to go. But we just wanted to say hey, and that we're out here, and uh, given the given the salty, it's uh, first run of the, of of the, the winter, winter season. Yes. Yeah. It's finally winter. <laughs> it is finally winter, and boy, has it showed up in a big way. Yes. It's nice and sunny, but... Uh, what, about 45 degrees and about 15 mile an hour winds, and there's quite a few people out here in Farmington Bay. There are a lot of people. Generally right here in the afternoon, there's not a ton of people. But yeah. We pulled into where we're at, and we've got guys to the left and guys to the right, so after our uh, show, we may, uh, may look for another little less crowded uh, spot. Yes, absolutely. Um, do you have your phone, and I will... Uh... Yes. I brought it this time. Oh, good job. So we can get some comments the, going, on. Hear the sound going on. I didn't. Oh. I didn't. I was very concerned. <laughs> the weather is getting better. It was. Uh, it's sunny now, but it was really uh, cloudy. And, yes, it's a little worse dark. down south, about 30 miles. Yes. When we started out. Yeah, Johnny Briggs is saying that it's looking to clear up. Um, Casey Brady says I was debating leaving work early to get out with the cold storm tonight. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, Casey. Right now, it's it's all right. It's sunny and windy. Sunny and windy. I haven't heard any, uh, any, heard any shots yet, no. so I don't know how it's actually going to be. But if you want to come out, we'll pick you up at the shore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Let us know where you come. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're just we're just out here. I was gonna, I was hoping we'd have a chance to, to get set up and hopefully show a little shooting while we were, yeah. we were here. Premiere some of our incredible shooting skills and our yeah. even more amazing duck calling skills. Yes. I didn't bring my calls, did you? I sure did. Good for you. You're yeah. going to be calling. I'll be the calling guy. Yes. Today. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's in there. <laughs> um, but good. Uh, we've got Rick on. How's it going, Rick? Um, but while we're waiting for the next few people to uh, jump on, Keith, uh, how's, it, uh, how's it been going? What's good. the... What's the haps in the office? Haps in the office is the phone is back live with the original number. Right. We had uh, kind tell of, me about that. Yeah. We what had happened? Some, uh, we changed phone companies on uh, Friday, and uh -huh. everybody changed except me. You didn't get changed. No, over. I didn't get changed over. So people had a hard time getting hold of me on Friday, on Monday, Tuesday afternoon, about two o'clock. My number was good again. So my old number, eight zero one. 617-1083 is live again. Yeah, yours is kind of like the most important number of, of them all. I'd like to think so, but I really wish it wasn't the most important one, but it is. It is. But we're back live. We're going. We're rolling now. Um, Joe Christensen says, how's the hunting? All you guys, we barely, we, we roll I mean, right in and I hit the go button. We're, we're right at the, the, we're a little behind our time. Yes, we haven't heard any shooting. We've been here all of about five minutes now. Yes. Not one shot fired. People to the north, east yes, and the west east of us. east and the so, west of us. So I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure how it's going to be. Yeah. We can't tell if everybody's picking up and heading out or, or if they've also just arrived. And we don't want to be the bad guys who roll into in between two guys and and rolling it for him, so we may move out for the uh, after Yeah, the once live we're show. done with the live, I think we'll we'll roll out. But I am planning on getting a lot of good pictures. I have the drone with us today, though I don't know if I'll be able to fly it with this wind. And I don't want somebody to shoot it out of the sky. It makes me a little nervous. So we'll see if we get any cool uh, cool pictures with that. Um, and we'll get some other videos as well. We may go live if the shooting starts going good. Yes. Maybe, we'll, maybe we'll throw it live yes, a little bit later, yes. which would be awesome. Um, and I want 
I was hoping to bring, you know, let everybody know how the hunting is. So those of you who are thinking of leaving work early today. Right now, I would say stay where you're at. Yeah, probably. But that could change it, you know, five minutes, an hour, who knows. Um, Frank King asks, what's up, guys? See, the beard game is strong. I think the beard game is very strong right now. It's going strong. Yeah, it's strong. Like, it's great, oh, but it's strong. And you're, you're actually, you know, a lot farther on than I... I thought you shaved off a couple weeks ago. No, I know. I've been holding strong. I really, I really dislike it. Sit on your hands when it starts to itch. Oh, like, yeah. man, it's so itchy. I did invest. I, I got some, uh, I got a new, like, cream lotion. It's supposed gotcha. to softener kind yes. of thing. And that's been helping. That helps a lot. Which is good. But, you know, the problem is every year I grow it out, there's just a little more gray in it. You mean like this? Yeah, luckily not that bad yet. But, man, it makes well, me it, sad. I think every I got you by, what, 20 years? You do. But you know, I'm old enough to be your dad. You are, you are, and I take I take great comfort in that, which is really awesome. Um, let's see, Casey Brady, can't fly drones in Farmington Bay, restricted airway. That's right. Thanks, I Casey. I'm glad you said that, Casey. I would have been in big trouble. I I did know that. I read that a while ago. We'd have been going to oh, put man. our hands behind our back. We woulda. Yeah. Oh. I am glad you said Casey. that. I I did read that and. I did not think of that until now, but you're right, it is restricted. It's a restricted area. There's not that many planes up there right now. Yeah, we'll keep it low. Anyway. You only get in trouble if you get caught. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. Can't break the law. No, we, we don't want to. Law bikes is. We are. We are. We'll have to plan some other some other way to get the cool shots today. Yes. We're going to have to get out in the water is what that means. You got waders on? Got I did. I got my waders on. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. I'm I did. I, yes, I've got my new gear. It's fine, nice to finally use it because I bought it, what, months ago when it was still 100 degrees outside. Yes, but you bought it when it was cheap. Yes, I got Cheaper. it on a really good deal, yes. We had Sid watching. Sid's hey, watching. Fast Duck Sid. What up? Send more shirts. Extra large. <laughs> medium. Really, really upsets the guys at the shop when we sport your gear and nobody else has it. Yes. Um, we got Richard. Richard Rillo is on with us. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Casey says the FAA is no joke, man. No joke. I agree. No joke. You don't want to mess with them. No, we don't. No, there was, I mean, that's like uh, more than I make this year <laughs> in fines <laughs> from the FAA. No, you I don't, don't wanna, think I can help you out. You don't, wanna, you don't want to mess with those guys. No. So. Um, but we are also asking questions while we're here, kind of just hanging out, planning out what we're going to do. Um, so any questions about your motor and, uh, you know, uh, other, other prep, any questions that you may or may not have. Um, I'm also looking for really great uh, photos. Well, they can't send photos right now. Photos no, after, photos I right guess. After. But you know, like how you're. For those of you local or in the Pacific Flyway that's open so far, let us know teal season, how it's been going. Love to get any discussion of that going on. I heard quite a few guys did real well over the weekend. I personally went out for a little bit. Was a foot soldier. The only thing flying where I was at was mosquitoes. Really? I got like 20 bites on the back of my neck <laughs> to prove it. Now well, you gotta take the... Gotta take the good with the bad. Yeah, Mark Harrell said you gotta take the uh, the bug spray. It needs to be part of your bag, man. It's in the boat. And you left it in the boat. It was in the boat. That's why you don't go on foot. I know. I asked my son-in-law, I said, hey, we got bug spray? He's like, nah, we'll be all right. I'm like, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we connect the dots on the back of my neck. It was, oh, my uh, gosh. Was some, of, some of the comments I was reading today on... This is the Utah Waterfowler Association page. The guys were like, I had so many mosquito bites, I was playing connect the dots on my face. Seriously. It was horrible this weekend. I know. And horrible. I'm sure I'm sure there will be times in the next few weeks. It'll heat back up. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Hoping tomorrow and Friday will kill at least half of them. Yeah. I hope. I mean, it's supposed to be really, I mean, it'll freeze. Yeah. It'll freeze this tonight. Tonight. So tonight if, it, if half of them die... That's good. You well, know, that's half you don't have to worry about. That's right. That's, that's really only good. dead bites. That's, <laughs> that's good. So, uh, what did you have going on? Um, me, what did I do? What, what did this weekend happen? I feel like there I did something. Maybe I can't remember. It was so good, I don't remember. I know you celebrated your birthday a little bit that late was, on that Friday. Was, that was last week. Actually, no, it's, it's what I did is that I took I took Friday off. Right. Uh, you know, to celebrate the last because we do birthday weeks at my house. Oh, lucky you! Yeah, that's what we do. So uh, no, we went up, we golf at uh, Soldier Hollow, which is kind of up by uh, Deer Creek, where we go occasionally and do some fishing. We do right. a little boat fishing up there. Um, it was cold. <laughs> the wind was blowing just like this. Actually, it started out like morning, was kind of warm and kind of fine. We thought we'd be okay, but. Got in October, if you have like the PGA, like uh, well, I don't know if we've got golfers, they don't really care. I don't know. But uh, in October.
October, you get free, you get one free round in right. October. Up there. And you took that round. And we went ahead and took that round. So it was okay because we didn't pay for it. It's not like we paid for a miserable round of five. Because if it would have been really bad, you could have oh, just we picked up and walked Yeah, we would have. And we almost you did. Lose, you didn't lose any money. It, towards the end, you're just hitting as fast as you can yeah. to get around. But that was actually really, really fun. And then we went into Park City. And for those of you locals, we went to High West, which is Utah's premier whiskey maker. Oh, cool. They, uh, in fact, it's one of the one of the only place in Utah that is not a liquor store that you can buy alcohol. Wow! Like in bottles at their distillery. And so I did get a I get a, I got a really awesome of whiskey that you can only get there. Really happy about nice it. Nice little birthday present. Oh man! <laughs> Spent a pretty penny on that, but it was absolutely worth it. Absolutely delicious. But it's a really great, an incredible food. Really nice little place right up there in Park City. Really Park City is just a beautiful place. It really this is. This time of year with the colors changing. Oh, man. All the food establishments and everything that's going on, just a and fun that, place to hang out. That was it. Playing golf was incredible. Up in the mountains there, really, really beautiful. All the colors change. Amazing. Um, so that's what I did um, on, uh, yeah, Friday and then Saturday, which kind of hung out and relaxed. And now during, the, now during the week, we're just back to the grind. Now back to the grind. We've got lots, lots always happening, so it's, uh, you know, it's good to be back. We've got... Uh, yeah, lots of stuff with XL boats happening. Yes. Stuff we're preparing for here in the next little bit. We've got the uh, QCAT Classic coming up in November 1st, which is a big deal. So a lot of work going into that right now. We've got our grand opening of the, uh, I guess not grand opening, but like the groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. Of the, uh, the XL plant in Tennessee. Yes. Which is going to be really awesome. I believe that's the 22nd of October. So I've got all, all will lots you, of work for that. Will you be live on that? I know, I'll, I know where I'll be. I will be live, yes. That Wednesday, we might have to do like a split screen. A split screen? But I will have uh, Jay Paul with me from Catch and Release, which will be interesting. Him? Yeah, him. Okay. He's a good dude. Actually, you may have to do it alone. I may not be available now that I'm thinking about it, looking at schedules and whatnot, but we'll discuss that later. Anyway, uh, but lots of fun. Away. Yeah, that's two weeks away. Like, out of, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, James McDowell is on, though, and he says, I'll be out this weekend in Michigan, which is awesome. Um... What's the weather like in Michigan? It's, it's cold sure here. It's, it's got to be that cold there, man. I was talking to uh, Mark up in Alaska backwater, and he says it's really cold up in Alaska. Oh, well. And he says the birds are going to start pushing our way because he says probably another two weeks, maybe three if they're lucky, they'll be locked up already. So hopefully we got some cold weather up there, some yes. new fresh birds coming down. Absolutely. Uh, Frank King just wrote in. Um, and this is really awesome. Frank King says, I just installed the grab bar with the trim switch. Works great with my gloves on. It does. That is, that is primo. Once you, you'll never be able to go back. You wonder how you ever managed in your whole life. That's the truth. That's the truth, too. This, that right little, here. That little, whatever it costs, is worth its weight in gold. Oh, my gosh. It really is. It definitely is. Yes. And that you can get um, on the XL Boats online store. You can purchase that. Yes. Put that on. Not, not super hard to, to install yourself. Really, really good. Um, Sid's killing stuff. He says he sent pictures. So we'll Sid look had that. a big he Sent a photo of what? Andy or Sid has sent a big gator up to you. That was Andy. That was Andy. Who is also on, yes. With those gators. That was crazy. He's got the gators I love that. Promoting his turbo. Uh huh. Um, definitely bucket list. Yes. I want to go hunt gators. Andy and Sid, who do we need to talk I about? Know. That's, that's, someday we're going to get out there and do that. Um, uh, Richard's opening is this Saturday for the duck here in southern Utah. Very good. good I want to see lots of pictures with that. Luke Powell. Uh, Luke Powell's season about three weeks away in central in Illinois. Sucks everything is flooding through, making things tough. Mother Nature is always in control. It is. That's really, Unfortunately, that is nothing, yes. Nothing else. Do they to have say. a lot of water? We have a little. We've got more water than we've had in the last, I would say, three to four years. Yeah. i have got a lot more water. I mean, Farmington is really full. Very, There's very a full. lot of water out here. Woo. Nice. Tony Torres is watching. Hey, that's, Tony. That's my uh, nephew from California. Uh oh. We're going to be hanging out in California at Christmas time on Pismo Beach. Shooting the dudes, having a good time. Pismo Beach. Just like the old days when I was young. <laughs> Studly could ride yeah. that machine like no other. Like now. No other. And now it's real painful. <laughs> but I still do it. Good. You're claiming you're you. I'm trying to. Ethan Nimmer, lots of wind here. The cold front brought in a few more birds, it seems. Opening week sure is great. Yeah, so good. Um, let's see, Sid making more shirts too. Good, thank you, Sid. 
Rick Hillcott's if I were they are opening up my buddy in Tennessee, I may have to move, yeah. Uh, James McDowell, 63 degrees today, 51 and rain for Saturday. Dang it. Oh, we got Jay Paul is on. Hey! So now all of you that need questions on your boats, Jay Paul can answer those. So now is a good time for your boat questions with, with Jay Paul watching. Or if he stays on long enough, he's an amazing dog trainer too. Also a really good point. All of your dog questions now. He is now is your time to ask these besides your motor questions. And if you if he won't answer your questions, I will personally give you a cell phone number. <laughs> no, I would that. I would never give out anybody's cell phone number without their permission. No, no. That is not cool. He already spends enough time on the phone. You know, I'm always cuz you know, I have things to talk to him about too and I know if I if it, if he doesn't pick up after a couple of rings, he's he's, already, he's on the he's phone on with the somebody phone. else. Yeah. He is really hard to get hold of on the phone. Because uh, he's a busy man. He knows, yes. he knows what's going on. Yes. Plus, he is also waiting very patiently for his season to start. Yes, he is. He's still got a way to go, though. Did, did you see catch and release No, yesterday? I was uh, catching up from the phone switchover. Cause very I nice. Finally got a live about an hour before they went live, so it was busy. Yes, I didn't think I left work till it was about 5, 30, 6 o'clock last Ooh, night trying wow. to catch up. So Jeez. No, I didn't catch the show. You did not catch the show. Well, he was at... Um, Oh, well, now I can't think of the name of it. He's at one of the stops for the uh, King Cat tournament. Oh, gotcha. Doing some fishing there and uh, met up with a really good, a really great guy um, from. Well, now he, uh, Monster Rods, I think it's who it is. Oh. I think it was Monster Rods. J. Paul, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, I think it was Monster Rods who he's with, but really cool guy. And uh, he was sitting in front of his um, his F4. Okay. And he had just put on that 5,000 right there. He just had it. He was just at the factory in Arkansas, driving it home, stopped on by. So he had that beautiful new 5,000 right there with him. Really, really awesome. That's right. I forgot they were here, picked that thing up last week and yeah. took it back to Arkansas. We got yeah. 10 boats and they got 18 or 20 motors. So good trade. Good trade. We're happy about it. Yes. Yes. Oh, Grizzly Jig. That's who it was. He was with Grizzly Jig. Uh, okay. Which is, those guys have some really great, I mean, one of the largest, um, like, bait manufacturers out there. Gotcha. They, they do some big, big stuff. They gave away some, some rods, and I mean, they were, it was a good show. A really, really good show. Um, so, you glad you uh, missed it. So, Jeremy wasn't around. Jeremy is still not available, but we're hoping next week that Jeremy should be there. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, because, because right now, the, the... Uh, the tournament circuit is going so big right now that he's kind of busy with busy, all of those yes, events right now. It's kind of his busiest, I'm still busiest team time of year. I'm still team Jeremy. Well, good for you. I'm sure he appreciates that. Stephen Gray is on. What's up, everybody? What's, What's up? What's up, Stephen? He's a local guy. Is Stephen local guy? I know. Where are you? Are you Stephen, are you not out? You're not out hunting with what us? What are you doing? Farming where, for bait? Where are you? I don't know what's going on. Bridge number four? Yeah, bridge number four. And heads out a little bit. And hang a north. No, hang a, we don't. Hang a right. Yeah. And go north. <laughs> <laughs> Jump That's the <funny>. dike. <laughs> yes. Walk about 400 <laughs> yards. Yeah. Stephen Gray's in Lehigh. Are you? Are, yeah. I, are you not out? You need to get out and do some shooting. He needs to come find us. Or actually, we need to go find him and let him. Yeah, he's probably down there in Provo, Utah Lake. No, he says he's working. Oh, poor guy. We were him. working too a while ago. I know. Well, we're still working. But this is the fun part. We of are job. absolutely working. Um, so tell us, uh, Keith, like lay, lay out what we got for the hunt today. So we got the boat, <laughs> HDR 50. Don't, don't start. Don't say it like that. <laughs> we got a boat. We got a boat. We got our uh, we boat. Got, we got a gun. We got a gun. I'll no. shoot. You call. Yes. We're sitting in our 1754, yeah, 1754 Excel Pro, Pro Hole with a gun box. We do have the gun box. See, we've the got gun the box is in the way. We've got the cooler seat that yep. you are sitting on right now. Full of water and Gatorade. Best option. That was that was my one thing that I wanted in this yes. boat. It, this was a good option. Yes. Not so sure about that one. You don't love the gun box no, so much. No, I'm not a gun box guy. I but like, it is, it I is like good for I mean, the fishing the, part. Yeah, well, it's got all the, the life jackets in it. And you've got cooking stuff in there. I'm surprised I you don't like it. I left all the cooking stuff at the shop. You did. We didn't. We didn't bring, we didn't bring the stove. We, we should have brought the stove. I know. I'm hungry now. Casey said his stove worked really good over the weekend. Oh, so man. yeah. I so we've got a uh, few decoys. We got some. Uh, we just have a mixed bag of everything. We've got some a big uh, shipment of Dakota 
decoy is coming. That's right. Not here quite yet, so we've got a little bit of mixed bag that I've scraped up a little here, a little there. Um, it'll work for us today, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it absolutely will. We got our paddle. We got our toolbox because you just never know. Tools are necessities in the mumbo world. Absolutely. You know. But mostly we're proud of this bad boy, right? I got stuck in the mud. Here. Oh, you did stick that in didn't the mud. Help you, uh, All right. Help no, you out okay. There we go. We got our 5,000 up and running right now. We're yes. really excited about this. As we were coming in, we saw, what, three different long tails? We saw a... I don't know what brand it was. We, there was one that was a, they were just not Mud Buddy brand one. One of them was a Chinese knockoff with about a 40 foot long tail and a little bitty prop with three guys and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we went by about 80 it's, miles an hour, yeah, but that's okay. Hey, you know what? No, they're they got what they got. Yeah. So. No, we won't fault them for that. No, they're out here duck hunting. Yeah. They're not working. Absolutely. So. Getting it done. But yeah. So. All right. So. That's good. So we've got our gear. We're going to set up here in just a little bit. Right yes. after we close down, we'll go find our spot. and We'll uh, get away from these other guys. We don't want to be, we don't want to be causing any problems. No, no, no. Because we're, we're, we're only like 100 yards from each one of them. Yeah. So. Well, that and we still haven't heard anything going. Yeah, I haven't heard anything Maybe going. Maybe time to do so a little exploring. Yeah. So is what, oh, Doug Wynn is on. Hey, Doug, how's it going? It's good to see you. Um, but we're going to close it down now, I think, since we don't have a lot of questions coming in. We've answered most of those um, in real time. Oh, Michael Duke says, y'all running a turbo. Where's your tux? This is not a turbo. We don't have the turbo installed no. on this. No, we're running a Performance 5000. Yes. So turbo is not available for that. Turbo right now is available for the 37 EFI and the 40 EFI. Yes. Not stock. for the yeah, stock, stock motors. Mm -hmm. Not for performance yet. Yes. So we don't have any live real dead ducks yet no we've been no, here but we're hoping we're hoping as soon as we close this down we're going to change that. we've only been here 30 minutes and we haven't heard one shot yet yeah and that's a farmington bay somewhere um what kind of blade what are we rocking on here of course i'm driving <laughs> i'm in charge you're driving you're we're in rocking charge. we're rocking the big blade today yes we have the big blade yes on. we're in the big blade yeah my blade of choice when you drive you can change it out. We have the we have the three blade here. We do. It's yeah. here. It's in the boat. And it's a great prop. We like that one too. We're just pushing a little bit of a load with. Well, I can't can't blame it on you today because you've got one bag and I've got three or four bags full of decoys and some other stuff. So I'm gonna be the. Uh, now you can see why you need an open hole. Well, no I, I never said. I know. I've never said that it's a bad idea. I'm just right. saying. I know. That it's all just in the open and my poor bag is just in the way in the way and i've got all of i i mean all of your decoys together don't match the price of what you oh you right know there. no not even close not even close so one day one day when we get those new ones yeah. from bill and the guys at dakota decoys we will be then we jamming. can start then yep. we can start and we'll, we'll have a new look next time we come out uh we're going to be rocking the new uh fast grass Blind yes. from BPS. I just came in from BPS. yesterday from BPS. Oh, we got to get that installed, so we'll have that the next time. We're I'm hoping we get some. We need to get some video, maybe a live video when we're when that's getting installed. Well, you're probably gonna have to stay a little bit late because I'll be doing it after work. Yeah, not worth it. <laughs> just so, kidding. You know I'll be. Around. It'll be inside. We won't be doing outside. It'll be oh, inside. We we'll just do it a couple nights after work, a couple hours, not nothing big. Get, maybe get a little help from uh, Juan. Juan does a great job at doing the install on the blanket, the blinds that we sell on the boat. So. Um, James Aldridge asks, when will the turbos be available for the for the bike? That's a good question. Yeah. Um, I don't know if any of our boys, the backwater performance are on. Travis, Glade, Corbin. Um, well, they're all probably out here somewhere. Uh, no, I doubt it. Uh, give them a call. 385-695-3811 is Travis. I think 3807 is the receptionist. Yeah. But yeah, call Backwater Performers. They can give you all of that turbo updated info, release dates. I don't have a clue. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sid, Sid says this. <laughs> he says, we were talking about, you know, hopefully after... You know, we'll shut this down and, right. then, and then get some ducks. But he says, I've seen Key shoot. You won't have any when you're done either. That's, that's fighting words. You know what? Uh, for a to... guy who needs me <laughs> for warranty parts and questions, talks a lot of trash, doesn't he? I hope you get your he next order, Sid. 
I have a lot of control. <laughs> you sure, you sure do. I can, make light, I, I can hang it up for one day, two days, <laughs> forget it and wait a week. <laughs> Uh, John Carlson also asked for those of you. Um, I, again, we are running the uh, big blade on yes, this. Big blade on this. It's a big blade. Is what we've got. Um, but my favorite is the Raptor. Normally, I like to run the Raptor. All summer, I had the Raptor on. Yes, we did have it on all summer. It steers great. That good speeds. Yeah, it's a great all-around. We're in a little deeper water yeah. and, and just tooling in and out as fast as we can. I like that one. Um, all right. Let's see. My, 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 be able to supercharge it with nitrous to make it go a little faster. That's Corey Arndt. Corey, uh, call my gun. Yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's a little above our head right here. I think at Something one like time, that. I may be wrong, but I may be right. One of our uh, <laughs> our techs ran alcohol in his motor. Oh, yeah? For a short time. Interesting. Yeah. Kind of yeah, a lot was... of carburetor adjustments and, and all that kind of stuff. But right. he, he didn't keep it on very long. I think he just wanted to play with it for a minute or two and then off a tape. So, yeah, 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 crazy. yeah. Sure. Um, let's see. Uh, Cora Meacham says, nice waiters. They've got the same pair. Which ones? Yours or mine? No, yours. Oh, the Rogers? Yes. Yeah, these the are, let's see, how many times are more of these? Two times. I got them when we went back to Arkansas, which was a bust of a shoot. But, oh, well. I like the waiters so far. I'm going to be uh, trying them out again this weekend. Nice. So good. far, so good. So no far, leaks. So <laughs> um, John Carlson says, I switched to the big blade, lost RPM, but whole shot, night and day difference. Amen. Yep. Yeah. Abs absolutely. That's, and when you're pushing, when you're pushing duck loads, uh, that's what you that's what you need. You need that big blade. And we, I talked to a guy, and Ricky and I talked to a guy the other day, and he was like, well, when I got in the boat and my 280-pound friend and my 70-pound dog and my 100-pound kid, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't get on step. I'm like, you need to lose the kid, the dog, or your other money. I don't know which one you would rather have, but. Lose the kid. Yeah. The kid. He needed to lose more than just the kid. Yeah, I know. The kid's the lightest part of that whole thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's all about that weight. Weight and power. Power and weight ratio. Yeah, it's all it is. Pretty, pretty simple. Ricardo Cazares says, what are you guys shooting? What am I shooting? Gun-wise, I have my little Franke 20 gauge that I bought last year. Huh? Uh, so far, I really like it. I've got yes. a 12 gauge. I just wanted to go with the 20 gauge to shoot in. Sure. See what it's like. My uh, good friend, Clint, uh, he has 20 gauge. Oh, he has a bunch of 20 gauge. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's got a lot. So, and, uh, That's good. I'm shooting a Canon Rebel T4. T4? Uh -huh, I believe is what... Is that what a high shooting? speed? Or it sure is. It? It's a yeah, DSLR, absolutely. I've got a couple different lenses with me, you know, just to keep that. And then I've got a GoPro uh, Hero 5. You got and the shotgun now? I do have the shotgun now. got that? Yep. I and know, then, I don't uh, know if we'll need it today. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> then they, it's, it just kind of got nice all of yeah, a sudden. It's, it's a lot warmer. Yeah, the, wind, the wind's died at about half, and uh, the sun's still out nice and blue. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, uh, yes, and then the drone that I can't use. That's what you I'm shooting. No drone today. Yes. Um, let's see. Okay, Stephen Gray, which prop works best in the mud at shallow water, like out here in Farmington? I would I would go with the two blade. Yeah. I'd run the hammer. A three blade will do a good job. The two blade is going to get you up on step a little bit quicker, yes. a little better for heavier loads. Yeah. You know, but the and three blade, if you got it, it'll work. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It'll work great in the mud. Um, but if you're something really, really shallow, really, really shallow, heavy vegetation. Big blade. What do you think? I'm thinking you should just switch over to a long tail. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Days long tail, yeah. That's what, that's what I We're thinking. not sure if the salt tail will go. We'll have to go up to Salt Creek. We just will maneuver back into those little bitty channels. Or we'll have a whole lot less weight. But, you know, the motor only had two hours when we went out there, so we had to kind of We baby were taking it, it easy. We yeah. were trying to baby it. I know. We need to get back up and try that. I really love that area. Yeah, that was beautiful so up there. so pretty up there. Yeah. Um, please just turn him. Yep. Everybody's answering that question before us. John Carlson, you guys want to come up to Green Bay, Wisconsin for a diver hunt? Drop a line. It's amazing. Drop. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how many times on the... Uh, when I, when I talk to the people on the phone, which I really appreciate, and man, I wish I could go as often as I'm invited, but one, I can't get away from work. Yeah, Two, mama probably won't let me, and three, 
I don't have that kind of cash. I know. <laughs> but you know, if I could, I would. No, it's one of these things we just got to plan, like maybe uh, 2020. I've got uh, 20, 20, two 20, invitations last week to go up to uh, the eastern part of Canada. Uh, and Ricky and I were invited to go to, um, was it Washington State? Here in a couple weeks, we, we took care of a guy and he's like, come on up. <laughs> you get here and he's like, I got everything else taken care of. So. But, and we really appreciate that because yeah, that is so we nice. Really but, do. We love the invites yeah. and stuff. But and just, someday we're going to be able to get someday out. Someday we'll we hit somewhere, but right now... I know. We're excited this year that we're hopefully going to be able to hunt with some of you local guys. That's yes. really kind of our, our goal this year is to meet some of you face-to-face. -face. Casey, we're dying to get out with um, uh, Stephen Gray. We're going to we're gonna try and get out with and, and all of you guys because, you know, we're here and... We want to meet you. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what makes it fun is, is going on these adventures and finding places that we've never been. And do you have uh, hats in the? I do. I've got beers? yes. I've so got. So if you're out at Farmington and you see us today, we're rocking the red van and the salty gray and goose. And the gray goose is out there. If you see us, hit us up at the ramp. We've got my buddy hats. Yes, we got hats. So yes, absolutely. Um, Andy Johnson, last thing. Can't wait to get up there and hunt with you all. Yes, Andy. Andy, Andy always comes up. I think it's. Christmas, New Year, something oh, like yeah? that. He'll be up here okay. and hunting. All right. Yeah. Today. He pretty much, I mean, he's come every year for at least a 10 year life and with Mud Buddy. <laughs> so I'd sit too. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Stephen Gray just said, I feel a sick day coming on. <laughs> I also feel that as well, Stephen. So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna hit you up uh, for sure. And all you guys, if you're interested, just let us know. We're always, you know, we, we, we'd love to come and meet you and hang out yes. for a day. Um, good, and then you can, you know, if you have a test row, one of these, uh, one of these five thousand, you get a chance to get you in one of these boats. And sure. Let you, let you drive it around. Yes. Get a feel for it. Life jacket and a leash. Of course. Safety first. Safety first. Safety first. That teamwork. Yes. All right, everybody, we're going to jump off now and try and get ourselves some ducks. We will be back online uh, next Wednesday at the same time, 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, if you have any questions, keep sending those in. You can always hit the chat at the bottom of the website. Uh, Ricky's always on that, uh, ready to answer any of your very pertinent questions. Um, we also love to see pictures. Keep sending those in. We'll get those posted up. I love to share those with everybody. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. And maybe next week we'll have some giveaway stuff. Yes. Because we ran out without everything. Today. I really did. I, I ran right out. We, we don't even have behind. the... Uh... Oh, I, no, I did. I put it in. I do have the. I do have the. Uh, the assassin log. The assassin log. I should never remember that. The assassin log. The assassin log. Yes. All right, everybody, take it easy, and we will see you right back here next week in the shallow water. I guess I have to get up. Now. You have to get up now. What if I don't want to? They're just gonna have to stay and watch. Right I'll now. put you off by the whole thing. <laughs> and we'll let yeah. the whole thing. All right. Bye, guys.